Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, I will discuss amplitude modulation. Here we will see what is amplitude modulation and its uh, waveforms. We will also see various properties of amplitude modulation in this lecture. First of all, I will start with the definition of amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation is a process where the maximum amplitude of the carrier wave is made proportional to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. So let's write down this definition. Amplitude modulation is a process process where the maximum amplitude amplitude of the carrier wave is made proportional to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. Okay, so this is the definition of amplitude modulation. I also want to mention here that uh, in amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the high frequency carrier wave is varied. Okay, while in frequency modulation and phase modulation, the frequency and phase respectively of the carrier wave are varied as per the variations in the modulating or the message signal. This modulating signal is also known as the message signal or the baseband signal. As per the definition of the amplitude modulation, we can express it, uh, it uh, mathematically if xt, here xt we are taking it as modulating signal, message signal or the baseband signal. All the three are same. And A cos of omega ct is the carrier wave. Okay. Right. So one thing that uh, you should notice here is this uh, carrier wave has a constant amplitude and constant high frequency okay this carrier wave that we use has while the message signal can have multiple frequencies and variable amplitude all right so now as per the definition of amplitude modulation let's now superimpose this uh, modulating signal over the high frequency carrier waves amplitude let's represent this modulating modulated signal this amplitude modulated signal by st okay a function of time we are all uh, talking in time domain here so here we will superimpose this carrier waves amplitude by the message signal in this way as you can see that a cos omega ct a cos omega ct was the equation of the carrier wave and we have here the amplitude a is the amplitude and omega c is the angular frequency of the carrier wave so xt is the message signal so we have put this we have superimposed the amplitude of the carrier wave by the message signal xt so we have put this uh, xt in the amplitude part so we can write it as uh, after opening it xt cos of omega ct plus a cos of omega ct so here 
we get the mathematical expression for the amplitude modulated wave it is the modulated wave equation okay now i am going to make uh, some waveforms of modulating signal carrier wave and amplitude modulated wave so watch carefully it's very interesting so let's draw these uh, waveforms on a fresh new paper so first of all let's draw the modulating signal also known as message or the baseband signal okay it can be of any shape here it is the modulating signal so this has multiple frequencies and varying amplitude multiple frequencies and varying amplitude graph for between xt and t okay now we will see the graph of a carrier wave represented by ct as we know that the carrier wave is a high frequency wave and has constant amplitude as you can see the amplitude is not changing amplitude is constant for this wave and also it has high frequency okay number of waveforms number of time periods are that are passed here per second is called the frequency so you can see here the frequency is high so what is this this is the carrier signal having constant high frequency and constant amplitude okay now we will see the third part of it which is st the modulated amplitude modulated wave let's watch it carefully st and t as i told you that uh, in amplitude modulation the high frequency carrier waves amplitude gets modulated by the message signal so here watch it how the variations take place here this is the carrier wave as you can see initially the amplitude of the carrier wave was constant in this pink color is the carrier wave and now the amplitude has changed as per the shape of the message signal as you can see here let me write down few things here that you can see this shape is same as the shape of this message signal okay so we have uh, two shapes here this part is the upper side bend and it is called as the lower side bend so we have two side bends so this is the amplitude modulated signal
okay and this is the lower side bend and here it is the upper side bend upper side bend is known as USB and it is known as LSB lower side bend upper side bend okay and uh, here these two things this this part these both this and this these are the envelope okay the envelope containing message these are the envelopes envelopes containing the message okay as you can see this is obtained by just joining the peak amplitudes of the carrier wave so and its shape is like the shape of the modulating signal so we can obtain we can detect or we can demodulate or you can say we can extract the message signal from this envelope okay so in amplitude modulation the frequency and phase are not changed this is very important thing only the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied as per the instantaneous value of the modulating signal so the information is present in the amplitude variations of the high frequency carrier wave no information is present in the frequency or phase of the carrier as these are kept constant so as shown in the waveform the time varying amplitude of the amplitude modulated wave is called the envelope of the am wave we saw that the equation of AM signal is A plus XT cos omega CT. So here this part focus on this part. This part is the envelope of the AM wave this part as the amplitude part of the carrier is changed and it is containing this massive signal this amplitude of carrier wave is superimposed by the massive signal xt so this portion contains the information okay this envelope contains the message okay it contains the massive signal so we can extract it from this so we can if we let's uh, call this as uh, et i have defined a plus xt this what is et et is for envelope e for envelope function of time so i have written this a plus xt by et so i can write down this uh, equation of amplitude modulated wave s t as e t cos of omega c t okay so this was the introductory lecture about the amplitude modulation here we discussed the time domain analysis of the amplitude modulation in the next video lecture, I will discuss the frequency domain analysis, that is a spectrum of AM wave. So, dear friends, if you like the video, then please like and share it. And to get updates of my new uploaded videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.